In this contribution, we present a novel approach for simulating the climate response of vegetation. Climate change can have a dramatic impact on the development of plant ecosystems. Our novel contribution on ecoclimates allows studying climate change and generating complex landscapes. A large part of these climate change mechanisms are mediated by water cycle across the atmosphere, pedosphere and biosphere, which we refer to as ecoclimate. Our method simulates changes of the ecoclimate to generate realistic 3D outdoor landscapes. It is composed of models for vegetation, soil and weather. Our vegetation model describes the development of individual plants over time. Plants are defined by unique branch geometry and adapt their structure to their local environment by sensing temperature, light and soil water gradients. The weather model allows us to describe a plausible atmosphere and can be used to generate visually realistic cloud formation dynamics. In our model, we couple vegetation and atmosphere by simulating the water cycle. In this rainforest scene, we clear an area of the vegetation during simulation. After the deforestation, Clouds form only above the rainforest region. Then we continue vegetation growth until the ecoclimate is restored. This shows the interconnection between vegetation and atmosphere. Our novel method is capable of simulating a vast array of different vegetation responses to climatic changes. In this scene, we decrease precipitation slowly over time. The shrubland adapts to the changing environment and creates a more dispersed plant distribution. As drought conditions increase, gaps in the vegetation start appearing before the shrubland finally vanishes. If we decrease precipitation by a factor of 10, the same shrubland exhibits a dynamic vegetation pattern that is less uniform compared to the slow drought scenario. We repeat the slow drought experiment with a more persistent pine tree species. Due to the slower adaptation of pine trees, gaps form more readily compared to the experiment with the faster growing shrubs. In a more rapid drought scenario, the pine forest vanishes faster while forming characteristic spot-like patterns. By placing multiple plant species in a scene, Complex competition and cooperation interactions may emerge during the simulation. In this scenario, the more drought-resistant pine trees form stripe-like vegetation patterns as the drought eliminates the shrub species. Our simulation results not only produce interesting patterns, but also conform to theoretical results discussed in ecology research. Here, we compare the parameter space of our model in terms of gaps, stripe and spot patterns to a study published by Meron. To better illustrate the expressiveness of our approach, we simulated bushland in Niger and peatlands in western Siberia and compared them to real photographs of vegetation in those regions. Essential to our realistic simulation is the inclusion of a microclimate in our modeling approach. We show the emergence of microclimates from an initially randomly distributed forest patch of four plant species. One of these species favors a wetter climate and establishes itself at the center of the forest patch. The other species inhabit the drier edges of the forest patch. After interactively removing all vegetation along the center line of the patch, we can observe the regrowth of forest edge species. This conforms to observations from forestry, where this phenomenon is referred to as forest edge effects. Here we show a climate change scenario for the Yosemite Valley around Havdon.